here we have the upside down photo and I've established where the marks are on the edge of the paper and by doing that I can figure out where the intersecting point is it kind of makes a T that that veers off to the right and I'm also looking at the angle uh, of the edge right there um, and by putting your pencil on the edge of a line you can figure out an angle and there's the intersecting point and then I'll just put the key uh, key lines on my paper and I draw really lightly to begin with although I'm using a dark pencil here so that it shows up visually Just kick back and take a look while I establish where the keys lines are. I'm taking a look at the, it's the bottom of the boat, um, but we're not look, looking at it as a boat, we're looking at it as a, a shape and the edge, but there's three lines on the bottom of the boat and um, marking where those are. Here I'm marking the bottom of the photo at the halfway mark and then half of a half which is a quarter. And that really helps me to figure out where things are on the drawing paper. Here you can see where I figure out the other side of the photograph where it's the halfway halfway between the halfway mark now I'm going the other direction to the right I'm going to speed things up here just a little bit. So just watch where I'm putting in the key lines and just kind of follow along visually. At some point I flip the paper over just to see if things look right. Then I'll turn it back upside down and then just start looking for secondary lines. Lines that just aren't the main lines but um, I can figure out where those are. Again I'm using a dark pencil. You would want to use a very light pencil so you can come back and gently erase any mistakes that you make. What you try to do is to you try to figure out how close one line is to another once you establish your main line. It's all about relationship of one line to another. 
or one shape to another. Keep that in mind as you draw your key line. Always had it be your kneaded eraser handy so you can come back and just quickly take care of any lines you accidentally put on your paper. You'll see me do this a lot where I look at my mark on the photograph and then I'll, I'll slide my pencil straight down or across to figure out where a particular point is and then I'll go over to the drawing paper and do the same thing. Here I figured out where that little circle shape was by just sliding it straight down on the paper. Now it's time to turn the paper right side up and let your left brain see what you've done. Now what I usually do at this point is I go back and um, make some minor corrections and just go over my whole paper uh, just looking for anything that looks out of place. <laughs> 